owns a little shop downtown um, called the Brick and Mortar. I'll link it down below. And uh, for Cinco de Mayo, uh, May 5th, I think it was a week and a half ago, two weeks ago maybe, she had a little contest going on. And basically you had to visit five of the shops that she had posted. And each shop, shop was um, donating a prize. So the key is to go into each shop and take a photo and post on social media with the, um, the the hashtag of Grand Cinco de Bingo. So you had to visit all five in order to get all the prizes. But there was only a few of us that actually entered um, because it was raining that day. The weather wasn't the greatest. So I guess like really nobody came out. So nobody really came out. Sorry, I think I just repeated myself. And uh, so we uh, it was House of Bamboo. Um, next time around, Blair House Gifts, Brick and Mortar, and Say Cheese. So those are the five. So the first one I went to was next time around. I will post the pictures as well um, so you guys can see them. And I posted it on Instagram. I posted originally all five on Instagram, and then I then moved it to Facebook. I posted them all on Facebook. So, and I hashtagged on there as well. And the second one I went to was Blair House Gifts, and she had this, like, little face in that you put your face in so I took a picture with that the next one was the brick and mortar and I took like a long shot because her husband was working that day he was behind the till so he got in the picture then it was say cheese and this one was pretty funny so I was with my husband we went to say cheese it was in it was supposed to be the grand open it was a grand opening I'd never I'd gone into the other one but it was like um very very small so I always felt very claustrophobic so this one was actually pretty nice um, beautiful display and I think I'm gonna sneeze nope I'm good um, so <laughs> sorry I did sneeze bless me so we went in um, so they had some pretty good stuff and the cheese display was pretty good so we were walking around and there was like nobody in the store but I had noticed before I had come in that the store had said it's closed at 7 but I thought oh you know it's the first Friday stroll it must be open till 9 so I walked in because the door was open. So me and my husband walk in and we can hear ding, ding. So we're like, you know, just walking around. And then it, the ding, ding got a little bit faster. I was like, what the heck? So I took a picture of the cheese display, like the, um, the glass display case. So I took a picture of that. And then all of a sudden the alarm went off. I was like, oh my God, did I just like break in? So we went automatically outside and I'm like, stuck in a, in a little hard spot because I'm like, I need to post this picture. This is like the fourth one out of the five stores. So I'm like, you know, I was putting in there, you know, oh my God, I just went to say cheese, blah, 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 right? And I was like in the midst of like, should I post it or should I not? If I post it, we really did break in and the cops will know we were there. But oh well, post. And I posted it. And then <laughs> lucky us, we're out there for a few minutes because we're like, we we're scared to kind of like leave. And the lady comes out. She goes, oh, I'm glad it worked because I guess she was in her house. So I'm like, oh, I'm glad it worked. In my head, I'm thinking, oh, I'm glad it worked, but you made me almost crap my pants. <laughs> so long story short, it was awesome. So really nice lady. She had amazing stuff at the store. She'll have to check it out. Uh, if she has a link, I'll put it down below. Um, if not, then um, I think Facebook. I think she has a Facebook page. So I'll try to link that as well. So the last store we went to was House of Bamboo. I love their clothes. Um, it's made of hemp. I have a purse from there. I'm planning on purchasing another one for my New York trip in November um, to hold my laptop. But I've got to bring my laptop with me so I'm able to see if it actually fits in the bag um, before I purchase. And there's a couple dresses in there that I really, really like. So I'll link it down below as well. But amazing. So I'll make sure I post all the pictures. So what happened was... We all post pics, so the next day, a um, few people entered, so the, the chore is, you know, um, who wins? So there's five prizes, and they're all supposed to be given as a group. So the one person would win everything. So it was $35 from the brick and mortar, $35 from Blair House Gifts, $25 gift certificate from next time around, um, I believe it was $25 gift certificate from Say Cheese and a set of Bam, um, I think it was the House of Bamboo, a set of um, towels. I think it was towels. And uh, 
all this would go to one person. But since only a few of us, basically three of us, were out that day conquering the weather, um, so it became the three of us. So what happened was it ended up getting split. So um, the first one, they made it to all the stores, um, but they didn't go into um, a couple of them. So they had outside shots. So they won um, a set of towels from the Bam House of Bamboo. Then the next person, um, she made it to all the stores, spent a lot of time in Say Cheese, and didn't make it to the last one. It was closed before she got there, um, which was, you know, sadly. But, you know, she loved Say Cheese, so she ended up getting the Say Cheese gift certificate. Awesome. Uh, I made it to all five, set off the alarm for one of them, and I uh, ended up getting, the next time around, the gift certificate. Uh, let me see if I can get out. So, so I ended up getting the gift certificate from the next time around. So when I have spent my 25, uh, I heard that they sell paint, so I'm going to see if I can um, check it out. I'll let you know anyways, either way, what I get with my 25 bucks. Then um, for Blair House Gifts, she actually had a $35 gift basket made up, and it was pretty cool. So um, first thing, it was actually, oh, I'll go like this. It's up here, actually. So it's like a birdhouse. Because I'm like an outdoorsy person, a little ribbon up there. Um, I haven't put it outside yet because I'm like, I don't want to get wrecked. Um, let me see. But it opens so you can clean it out. So I might put it in the tree that we have in the front. Um, but I love it. It's so cute. And then I got birdhouse theme. I got a hook. So I haven't decided where to put this yet. Um, so yeah, I love it. It's so adorable. And then actually, hang on, I'm wearing the other one. Let me take off the one. I don't know if you can see it. That's the other one. I'll show it to you. It's a bracelet, which I love. I usually wear it with my, cause I love dragonflies. So I wear it like all together. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I wear it like all together. Don't mind the mess back there. I'm cleaning. Um, so I wear it all together and now my camera's going to fall. So I wear it all together. So that's from Blair House Gifts. Um, amazing. I loved it. Then from the brick and mortar, it was a $35 gift certificate. So what I did, um, because I ended up getting hooked on smoked on salmon. So um, I ended up getting a package because they're $14.99. I ended up getting a package. My husband loves butter tarts. So I ended up getting like a few of those. And I still had like... $15 left and we go there like every Saturday so basically it's like we walk the dogs and we stop there for something to eat or you know um, a, a java and butter tarts so we saved the next 15 for the next time we went so I actually went just this weekend and um, spent the rest basically um, had our coffee and all that and ended up getting it's called Cuban Mojito, natural bath bomb. Filled bath, drop soaker, and be whisked away to a sunny beach destination. Inspired by the famous Cuban cocktail mojitos. Exotic aroma of lime and mint will leave you feeling refreshed and relaxed. So, um, these are made by um, Natural Bath and Body Products. I'll leave the link down below. I believe she has a link here. Uh, it's... Uh, yeah, Be Natural Bath and Body Products. Yeah, so there is all, if I have a link, I'll put it down below. But that's what it looks like. So it's a natural bath bomb. And, oh my god, it smells. I'm actually going to use this tonight, so I will put it in the video as well. Um, so ingredients is baking soda, Epsom salt, citric acid, cornstarch, coconut oil, distilled water, therapeutic essential oils, lime, peppermint, dried mint leaves, and dehydrated dehydrated lime so it's all very organic and I have sensitive skin so I can't wait to actually try this um but yeah it looks like awesome and it smells amazing so that is my um prizes from the Grand Cinco de Bingo uh so yeah I'll link everything down below as much as I possibly can you guys have an awesome day I will uh fizz out the bath bomb for the last part of the video have a good night 
All right. Oh, I almost fell over my own cord. So there it is. It actually smells amazing. Let's check it out. Ooh. I love the sound. That's awesome. So. Have a good night, guys. Going to enjoy my mojito bath bomb. And she called it Grand Cinco Domingo. So what it was is five stores participate. Hold on, gotta count now. I don't know what that